Hi, this is Ella and I'm going to show you how to set up all of the settings in your account. First, set up your general settings and set the start day of your schedule. Then customize your account to your time zone, choose a time format, and upload a company logo. Use the on and off toggle to enable the time off or availability features and customize how you want these features to work for your employees. With time off, you can set the number of days notice required and max paid hours if you're using PTO. From the scheduling section, you can customize how you want your employees to view the schedule. Allow them to view the full schedule or only their own. Choose whether or not your employees can set their preferred hours for the week and split their shifts. You can also use the on and off toggle to allow your employees to trade or drop their shifts. If you're using the time clock, then make sure to go through the attendance settings. From the attendance settings, select how you want your employees to clock in. They can clock in from a computer or a tablet terminal, their smartphones, or from their work computers. If you want your employees to clock in near a specific location, be sure to check the option to force employees to clock in from a specific location. From the Users Must Clock In Within section, you can set how early you want to allow your employees to clock in before their shift starts, or allow them to clock in without a scheduled shift. If you're using attendance, then you'll want to set up your pay cycle for payroll. Select either weekly, bi-weekly, bi-monthly, or monthly. Once you choose the pay cycle, you can choose the end date of your current pay period. By default, your employees will be able to edit their own timesheets, so be sure to uncheck the box if you don't want to give your employees access to edit their own. Also, be sure to configure your overtime options. Not all of the options are used or required by every business, so be sure to only configure the options you need to accurately calculate your employees' overtime hours. And don't forget to save after configuring. This will make sure that all of your new settings apply. And that's how you configure your account settings.